Hey Sandy, why haven't you come home yet? You normally go home at 7 o'clock, but today it's over 8 o'clock and you haven't come back yet. Where are you? Are you okay? I've been trying to call you for the past hour, but you didn't answer. I was getting really worried about you. What's this all of a sudden? Are you finished with work? Finally? You know, you don't have to check up on me every minute of the day. I'm a grown woman. I can take care of myself. Yep, all done for the day. I'm just asking because Destiny messaged me and said she's been home alone since school got out. Oh, really? She messaged you, did she? Yeah. She said you're not home and she hasn't had dinner yet. It's past 8. Where are you? You know she needs to eat at a regular time. She's still growing and she needs someone to talk to after school. She's been having some trouble with her friends lately. Oh, I thought I told you before. It's my friend's birthday today, so I've been out with her. We're going to be out all night. We went to a nice restaurant and now we're at a club. The music is great and the drinks are flowing. I don't think you mentioned that, but we've talked about this kind of thing before. I really need to know in advance when you're going to be out late. You know, I don't mind if you go out with your friends once in a while, but it would be nice if you could let me know beforehand so I can make some arrangements for Destiny. I really thought that I told you. Honest mistake. Sorry, babe. Still, you need to think of our daughter before going out this late. Destiny is only in the second grade. She can't be home by herself like this. Yeah, I get it. I said I'm sorry, didn't I? Anyway, what are you doing now? I'm on my way home now to make dinner. I left as soon as I got Destiny's message. Oh, so you'll be home pretty soon then. In that case, there was really no reason for you to bother messaging me. I think you're missing the point here. Of course, I know you need your time and to hang out with friends, but Destiny is still young. Do you think you could cut back just a little for her sake? Excuse me? Who is it that cleans the house every day and watches over her? Me, not you. And despite that, you want to lecture me just because I go out with my friends every once in a while? I never said that. I have absolutely no problem with you going out with your friends every once in a while. But you're going out almost every single day lately. Don't you think you could be at home at least a little more? No, actually, I can't. You know, if you're so worried about this all of a sudden, why don't you start coming home from work earlier? All you ever talk about is work, work, work. Why don't you try helping me out every now and then? You're always so busy and stressed. You never have time for me or destiny. You don't understand how lonely I feel. You have no idea how much I wish I could be home more. But it's just not that easy. We're so busy lately and I just have to get all this stuff done. Well, if that's the case, then why don't you lay off me, hypocrite? I'm really starting to get annoyed having you all up in my business all the time. You don't get to tell me what to do or how to live my life. You're not my boss. Come on. I do all the housework and stuff on my days off at least. Don't I? I try to spend as much time as I can with you and Destiny when I'm not working. Oh, amazing. You help out twice a week. What do you want, husband of the year? Okay, okay. I am really grateful for everything that you do. I would just really appreciate it if you could show just a little more, I don't know, motherly affection for Destiny's sake. Ah, there it is. Men your age are always going on about how women need to always be thinking like mothers or behaving like mothers. You need to get with the times, Connor. I'm not going to let you saddle me with those kinds of old-fashioned values. Men my age? We're only 10 years apart. I don't think the generation gap in values is all that huge. Oh, did I hurt your feelings? Sorry. Not sorry. No, it's... no, it's fine. It's not like I'm not aware every day how much older I am than you. I should hope not. But on the other hand, you've managed to snag yourself a hot young wife like me. You should be satisfied with that. Really? You should be on your knees every day thanking God, if I'm being honest. Believe me, I'm very thankful. 
but I'd like you to think about destiny a bit more. It's important for a girl that age to spend time with her mother. Oh my god, are we still talking about this? Why do I have to put up with this every single time I go out? I can't have any freedom just because I'm a mom. I never said that. You know what? I've had it. Do you want to get divorced? Because I'm just about there. Hey, hey, now. Hey, now. Hold on. Is this really something that we need to start talking about divorce over? Can you calm down a little bit? It's your fault. You just can't help yourself from nagging and complaining all the time, can you? I have to think about destiny. Will you listen to me at least? This isn't about destiny. And just so you know, if we do end up getting divorced, I'll be taking custody. So don't push me right now unless you're ready for that. All right, I got it. I'm sorry. Please don't get angry. Do you promise not to keep nagging me all the time? Yes, I promise. Sorry, I went too far. I'll be more careful in the future. And you're not going to complain if I go out with my friends, right? You need to blow off steam every once in a while, same as anyone. That's right. If you can understand that, then I think we'll be okay for now. I'm sorry for getting annoyed with you. No, it's fine. Just please let me know when you're going to be home late. I just get worried about destiny if I don't know. Okay, I understand. I'll be more careful next time. Thank you. Me too. I'll be more careful with how I talk next time. I appreciate that. That's why I love you. You're so nice and understanding. And you love me too, right? I love you so much. Thanks. I'm going to get back to the birthday party then. Okay? Good night. Hey, I've got something important to talk to you about. Is that okay? Sure. What's up? And where are you, by the way? It's already past nine. If you have a serious matter, you should go home and talk directly. Why talk via text? Don't worry about that right now. I told you. I've got something important to tell you. Are you listening to me? Okay, sure. So what is it you have to tell me? Stop talking around. You make me feel insecure. Okay, I'll tell you. But first, promise me you won't get mad. Oh, so it's something you think would make me mad. No, I think you're a very understanding person, so I don't actually think you'll get mad at all. But I just want you to promise, just in case. Well, it's impossible to promise until I know what you're going to say. Can you just tell me? Nope, sorry. I want you to promise not to get mad first, and then I'll tell you. I don't know if I can love someone who can't even make a simple promise. Fine. I promise I won't get angry. Now, will you tell me what's up? You swear? No matter what I say, you definitely won't get angry. Yeah, I swear. All right. Now what is it? Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and apologize up front. I'm really sorry, but it looks like my boyfriend got me pregnant. What? Boyfriend? Pregnant? Are you for real now? I already told you that I'm sorry, and you promised you wouldn't get angry. I know. Sorry. I was just really taken aback. But there's no mistake. Are you definitely pregnant? 100%. I went to the hospital and everything. And you should also know, no matter what you say, I'm definitely keeping it. It might be hard for you to swallow, but I'm sure it's better than getting divorced. So I don't want to hear any complaints from you, okay? Seriously? That's terrific. You have my full support if you're going to keep it. In fact, I insist. Not the reaction I was expecting, to be honest. I'm actually not even sure what to say right now. I was ready for a fight. Why? What's wrong? You're pregnant, right? That's a cause for celebration. Yeah, well, I mean, that's true. But I said it's my boyfriend's. You know, it's not yours. What are you talking about? That's the best part. I feel nothing but gratitude right now. Swear to God. Don't get me wrong, I think it's really good that you're happy about this. But I did say I was keeping it. I did say that, right? Yeah, that's great. I want you to keep it. I'd be disappointed if you didn't. Seriously, I can't tell you how relieved I am to hear you say that. Thank you. No, thank you. This is the best news I've had in a while. That's great. And I want to raise the child as well, of course. 
so I'll be really counting on your financial support as well. Whoa there! <laughs> what are you talking about? Obviously, I'm not going to be giving you any financial support. What? Why not? What happened to you being happy and supportive? Of course I was happy. I finally have a cut and dry reason to divorce you. Huh. Divorce? Why? Isn't that obvious? What part is confusing anyway? Have the kid, raise the kid after we get divorced. Don't really care what you do. Why are you acting so weird? Are you really okay with us getting divorced? In what world am I the weird one in this situation? What do you mean? You're definitely being weird. I don't understand. What could you possibly not understand? Do you have any brain cells still kicking in that head of yours? You cheated on me. Got pregnant and then told me about it. Yeah, but you always do whatever I say. You never go against me. I didn't think you were even capable of it. I certainly didn't think you would do something like start talking about divorce. Oh man, I just knew you would try to turn this around and get angry at me. It's impressive, really. I have no idea where you get that kind of nerve. So you're really okay if we get divorced? You've got a smoking hot young wife, right? You realize you'll never be able to get another girl like me, right? This is it, bud. I have absolutely no problem weeding you out of my life. And by the way, you need to stop referring to yourself as young and smoking hot. It makes me roll my eyes so hard, they almost fall out of my head every time. I don't really appreciate this attitude from you. It means you've done a good job in life. I'm trying to compliment you over here, but don't get carried away. Me? Get carried away? Whatever. Besides, what are you going to do? Divorce me? I can say whatever I want. You really think it's okay to talk like that to me? Like, really? If things keep going like this, we're actually going to get divorced. And like I said, I'm going to take destiny with me. Yeah, good luck with that. There is no way that I don't get custody. You have no chance. Oh, you really think so? <laughs> you might think it looks cool to puff out your chest and talk all big, but it's actually just sad. <laughs> whatever you can think, whatever you want, it won't change anything. I'm the one who should be saying that. <laughs> Mothers almost always get custody of the children, and you work late almost every day, so you're never home. There's like no chance that you get custody. Weekends at best, but I'll even fight that. Let's pretend for a second that you're right. Do you really even want custody? You never really seem to care about destiny. To tell you the truth, I don't care that much, but this isn't about her. I'm a woman of my word. I've always threatened to take custody if we get divorced. So if you're going to divorce me, then I'm definitely going to take custody. <laughs> yeah, I figured that. It's how it was. If you would just give up though, it would make things a lot easier. Just say. There's no way that's happening. It doesn't even matter that I cheated. I still get custody. No problem. <laughs> so that's how it's going to be, huh? All right then. Then do your best to get custody. Let's see how it goes. You don't have to tell me. And I think we both know how it will go. Anyway, I'll be home tomorrow. I'll be expecting a full apology out of you. And if I don't get it, if I don't hear you say that you're giving up this divorce nonsense, then I'm going to take your daughter away from you. Oh, Connor, I'm on my way home now. I can't wait to see what kind of apology you've prepared this time. Why would I apologize to you? You're the one who should be apologizing to me. You're the one who cheated on me and got pregnant with another man's child. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Oh, what's this? Did you forget yesterday's conversation already? Did you forget how I warned you that if we get divorced, I'll make sure you're never allowed to do so much as look at a picture of Destiny again? You'll never see her again for the rest of your sad life. I think you're confused. If anyone isn't going to see her again, it's you. Not ever, not for any reason whatsoever. You don't deserve to be her mother. You're all bark and no bite. You don't have any right to stop me. And you don't have any chance of winning this case. Actually, I do. It looks like I am going to get full custody. And that is no small part thanks to you. Thank you so much for being such a terrible wife and mother. Okay, really? What are you talking about? 
Do you even have any idea what kind of things the judge looks at when they decide on custody? There's absolutely no way an absentee father like you has any chance. You're always working late, traveling, and neglecting your daughter. You don't even know her favorite color, food, or song. Maybe in a normal situation, but remember what you told me yesterday. You said you don't really care about her. And? What's your point? I don't see what that has to do with anything. It's got everything to do with everything. And not only that, you're pregnant with some other guy's kid right now. You said you're fully planning on having that child and raising it. Yeah, I said it. Again, what is your point, Connor? My point is that you're going to have someone else's baby, and you said you don't care about destiny. Do you really think that sounds like a mother that is going to properly take care of destiny? Do you really think that sounds like a mother that's going to love destiny and put her first? Hold on a second. That's it. Do you think I can't get custody because of that? Because I'm having another baby and because I don't care about destiny as much as you do? That's ridiculous and absurd. It certainly doesn't help you that Destiny definitely won't choose to go with you when the court asks her. She knows how much you've hurt me and her. That's not true! And it does look better to me that I've already talked with my company and explained the situation. So I'll be able to be home on time every day from now on, no matter what. I'll be able to spend more time with Destiny and give her the attention and affection she deserves. That's not fair either! You can't just change your work schedule like that and expect it to make a difference. I'd say the odds are starting to look pretty slim for you. Whatever. I still don't buy that you're really even going to go through with this divorce. This is just one of your stupid jokes, isn't it? Not funny, as always. What? That's really the tactic you want to try now? That things are looking bad for you? No, I'm not joking. I'm not playing games. I'm going to divorce you and I'm going to get custody of our daughter. I'm dead serious about this. You say that, but I know you still love me. You told me you loved me just the other day. You can't just change your mind like that and pretend you don't have any feelings for me. I wasn't as certain that I could get custody back then as I am now. So there wasn't much else I could say at that point. I had to play along with your lies and your manipulations. I had to pretend that I still cared about you and our marriage. But now that I know I can get Destiny away from you, I don't have to do that anymore. And now that you're more confident, you think you can just divorce me? Do you really think anyone else is ever going to want you? You? An old man good for absolutely nothing but making money. Are you really okay with this? As long as I can live peacefully with my daughter, I'll be happy. If you care about money so much, you should be able to get child support from the guy that knocked you up. That's got to be better than staying married to an old guy that you don't respect. No, I can't. He's a brilliant artist, but he's still working to get recognized. He needs my support, if anything. So you've been giving him our money? You know what? Never mind. We're getting divorced anyway, and I'll be looking to get child support from you. By the way, so you should probably contact a lawyer. Are you out of your mind? You know that I don't work, and he doesn't have any money either. You think any judge is going to make me pay child support when I don't even have enough money to take care of my new kid? Oh, that's a good point, but you don't need to worry about the new baby. I've talked to your parents, and they've agreed to raise the child, so you can rest easy on that front. What are you saying? You talked to my parents? You told them about all this? Well, of course. We're getting divorced after all. They deserve to know, naturally. I've already spoken to my parents as well. And I actually spoke to your boyfriend already as well. So he's completely up to date on the situation and bad news for you. But it looks like he's out. So I don't think you've got any escape there. You spoke to David? You've got to be kidding me. I've always planned to get custody of Destiny and divorce you. I've been thinking about this for ages now. So I hired someone to figure out where you were actually going all this time. Are you freaking kidding me? I feel sick right now. Do you have any idea how much of an invasion of privacy that is? Don't give me that. You're so clearly the one in the wrong here. Anyway, I didn't find anything that would actually help me get custody. But at least I was able to put the info to some use now. I can't believe you. You disgust me. This was all your fault from the very beginning, just so you know. You neglected me. Why do I have to sit here and listen to you blame me for everything? 
You're the one who decided to go out all the time drinking with your friends and going to clubs and not coming home. What else am I supposed to do here? Even your elementary school daughter can understand that you're in the wrong. She's angry too. She wanted her mother. Okay, Connor. It's all my fault. I won't go out anymore. I'll do better at taking care of Destiny. So please forgive me. Sorry. It's way too late in the game for me to be tricked by something like that. I'm perfectly clear-headed about this and can't be confused. But you said you loved me, and I believe you. I know you don't really want to divorce me. And I love you too. I don't want to get divorced. No matter how you look at it, there's no other choice but to get divorced. You don't love me. You love going out. You love going to clubs. If we get divorced, you can do that as much as you want without me hassling you. I know that's the life you really want. And more than that, Sandy? Well, I don't love you. And I want to get divorced more than anything else in the world. After discovering Sandy's betrayal, our marriage came crashing down like a house of cards. I was hurt and angry, but I knew I had to do what was best for our children. Sandy's life took a tumultuous turn when her boyfriend left her, leaving her with no choice but to return to her birth parents' home. At the time of the divorce, Sandy resisted signing the papers. Cornered by not just me, but her own parents as well, she finally gave in and signed them. I ended up with full custody of the children, and thankfully, Sandy's parents stepped up and provided child support for their grandchild. Months passed, Sandy had the baby, but she left home again and left the baby in the care of her parents irresponsibly. Since we had the boyfriend's information, Sandy's parents were able to eventually get child support from him as well. In the aftermath of the divorce, Destiny and I decided to move to a new house. A fresh start for the both of us. I worried about how Destiny would cope without her mother, but to my relief, she adapted well to the situation. Spending more time with Destiny, I noticed a positive change in the both of us. We laughed together more, and our bond grew stronger every day. Throughout this journey, I realized that Destiny deserved a better mother figure than Sandy could ever be. I made a promise to myself to be the best parent I could be for her, to be there for her unconditionally, and to provide her with the love and care she needed.